Hi everyone, coming to you with today's daily devotional. Uh, this week we've been talking about Jesus' death on the cross and how we can understand what that does. Uh, and there's actually a lot of different ways that people have talked about this uh, in scripture and through Christian history. But I think it's important that we have a, a bigger bigger picture here and we don't focus on what I would say are some sometimes misleading ideas, right? The big idea I've been talking against this week is the idea that God uh, just needed to kill somebody or that God uh, was bloodthirsty. And so Jesus kind of took that hit for us. One of the reasons, the, the big problem I have with that is we end up basically setting Jesus and God against each other. And we see Jesus defending us from God because that's making God into our enemy. So instead, we need to realize who our true enemy is, and that's what we'll see Jesus defeating. One of the best places that talks about this is in the letter of the Hebrews, chapter 2, verses 14 and 15. Uh, he's talking about the humanity of Jesus here, right? So he says, Since therefore the children share flesh and blood, he himself, Jesus, likewise shared the same things, so that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who all their lives were held in slavery by the fear of death. God is not our problem. God is not against us. Uh, of course, we know God is for us. And the cross is about God's love. And here, Hebrews says, it's also about giving us freedom. Freedom from what we're trapped in, which he says is slavery to the fear of death. Right? The idea of redemption, it always is about the idea of setting someone free. It's, it's to reclaim something that belongs to you. You know, this time of year... Uh, we also think about the Passover, right? Jewish people are remembering that story. And that story is all about the same idea, that God brings salvation by liberating his people uh, out, of, out of slavery. Right? That's redemption, that's salvation. And so what Jesus does on the cross is just a new form of the same thing. In fact, in most languages, instead of using the word Easter, they use uh, a word that's equivalent to Passover. That's what this is to us. Here we see that it sets us free, not from slavery to some power or some nation, but from the fear of death, right? This is actually what motivates um, and traps us, right? It motivates all our sin. Uh, whether we think about it or not, whether we're aware of it or not, all the bad choices that we make are really the fear of death, right? The fear that we don't have enough time or to, to trust God. Um, and so we, we make choices that end up actually killing us, right? We're enslaving ourselves uh, with this fear. And so by Jesus submitting to the power of death uh, and the devil who uses that power, uh, he breaks that power, right? Because death can't hold him because he is God. And so we are set free, right? Christ becomes the victor over death and sin itself by allowing sin and death to take him. Um, it's almost like uh, God springs this trap and, and death thinks that it's won, and that's how death is defeated. And again, like I said, that's always how salvation works. In the Passover, right, Jesus sometimes is talked about a lamb, right? But the Passover lamb was not a sacrifice for sin. The Passover lamb was to protect from death, right? Just as they used the blood, the Israelites used the blood to mark their doorways so that death wouldn't touch them. We trust in the blood of Christ to protect us from death in the same way. Right? God doesn't need that blood to forgive, but death is real and death has power and sin uh, has a hold on us. And so through Christ, we are set free. We don't have to be afraid of death. Uh, we can trust in God and know that through Christ, we are set free and there's nothing else we have to worry about. So don't live in fear, live in trust. Have a blessed day.